Farmer Dre back at it. Another beautiful Monday afternoon here on the farm. I've been out here all day. Well, not all day, just for a couple hours here working on the soil. This morning, I had to make the drive up to Morgan County Seed. I was on the road at 5.30, gonna go pick up the plastic drip tape and all this other stuff we needed for the strawberries. And I plowed up the soil last week. Now I'm just working on making sure it is ready to go for the, uh, the raised bed maker, the plastic mulch layer. And hopefully by uh, end of this week, we'll be planting some strawberries. Our plants are coming in tomorrow, actually. So 33,000 strawberry plants coming in. And, um, you know, big changes here on my property. We actually just got done drilling a well. I actually took some footage of that uh, last week. So the well, the, case, the, well, the casing is uh, done. Now they gotta come back next week and um, put the well, I mean, put the actual motor and pump in the ground there and make sure to connect everything, make sure everything's ready to go. And um, like I said, a real busy time here on the farm. You know, last week I only posted one video, so hopefully this week, I'll get more videos out there for you guys trying to trying to keep balance everything out make sure everything is ready to go but anyways today i'm out here disking the field getting it ready to uh to plant ready to get it ready for the raised bed so uh you guys stay tuned for today's video So it has been a quick minute since I grabbed the GoPro and started filming. We are uh, extremely busy. We uh, got the soil ready. I went ahead and plowed this a second time. I got the soil ready last night and I thought today I'm going to go ahead and start forming the beds. But, you know, I got to thinking and I was like, instead of having to fix plastic like I did last fall, I'd rather just go ahead and plow it up again and get that ready. You know, get the soil, you know, six to eight. 10 inches below you know make sure it's nice and soft and ready to go so that whenever we do start laying plastic so that we could have you know ample amount of dirt to go ahead and throw on the sides there and just have enough soil to work with so that's what i did it took me quite i mean it took, took me like three hours to go through through and replow everything make sure it's nice and ready to go we got to come through tomorrow and um, finish off picking off the bigger rocks here isaac is on the disc there he's going to continue finishing that off and i am spreading fertilizer right now with a small tractor there and uh you know hopefully like i said tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and start making the bed and we'll see you have three farm tours tomorrow at 9 10 11, and 11 so we'll see how how much we get done you know that's that's the biggest problem this time of year it was su super busy with the orchard and we got to get all the strawberry plants in the ground and we're still picking tomatoes like they put one the crew went out there and picked 180 pounds of tomatoes this morning i had to send adrian to the farmer's market so there's just so much going on but slowly and surely we will get done so you know, our deadline to plant strawberries is the 22nd of, uh, what month is it? September. I'm, I'm just so uh, exhausted and tired after full days of work. And I've been working 20 hour days for last week. Just trying to get everything ready, lined up, you know, waking up early, getting the store and everything ready, you know, and then we do the farm tours and coming out here later on in the afternoons and uh, just trying to get it done. So super busy. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump into the, uh, small tractor here and spread this fertilizer here i um this is just a uh this is just a maintenance fertilizing so on strawberries you want to add you know anywhere from a 70 to 100 pounds of actual nitrogen per acre of dry fertilizer before you plant then we also got some p and k in there from our soil test and what we need in there so um you know the soil ph is fairly good for strawberries i believe it's like six point two or three it's it's really good i mean some lime would have been been a good but you know i didn't want to get the lime truck out here and you now when i got home from the fertilizer place i realized that they had pelletized lime so i could have put some in here but you know adding this in here and then we will obviously feed through the drip system as well so after we transplant three weeks into the fall we gotta put about seven pounds of actual n per acre until you know just the first three weeks after transplant and of course, we got to put the uh, starter plant solution. It's, it's just a high phosphorus fertilizer. Whenever we do go through and transplant, I think we put like a pound of dry fertilizer, water soluble fertilizer 
in our tank in the transplanting tank just have the roots that that phosphorus really helped out the root system to go ahead and get established here and another exciting thing is those guys that were out here uh yesterday i believe they finished they drew they drilled the well so we went ahead and we go went ahead and put a well back here and hello so this well right here is 485 foot in the ground and they found a good aquifer water and they have ample amount of water you can see all the limestone back here that's draining so hopefully in the next couple of days we will have you know i ordered a shipment container it's coming we're gonna get, go ahead and make our well house in a shipment container and get some big old tanks and the fertilizer injectors and everything going on in there i have power coming next week so that, that's just part part of uh farming new land and one one thing i already messed up on you guys can see that the bigger clumps of uh of grass and all the roots i should have tillered you know use the rotor tiller first and to kill off all the grass and they went ahead and plowed it but i was like you know what let me just go ahead and plow that that grass saw there and it didn't work out too well i had to go down through there with the disc quite a bit of times but you know everything is falling into place uh you know hopefully by next week the well will be connected ready to go they got that drilled all they got to do come out here put the pump in there we'll have power out here the strawberry plants will lay in plastic tomorrow morning so slowly surely one day at a time we are getting it done and uh you know as you guys saw my last video there the you pick they wiped out this these uh back two acres here so there and there's not a single apple on those trees anymore and like i said the field trip so it's just real busy time real hectic time but you know it's just, you got to get it done and, and get the strawberry plants in the ground so hopefully surely slowly and surely we will get it done so I'm going to go ahead and jump into the uh, small tractor here. And I had Isaac uh, smoothing that out a little bit there. And I'm going to start spreading this fertilizer here. And hopefully get done before it gets too dark here. You can see all those white pellets there on the ground. I don't know if you can see that or not. But good old mixture of fertilizer. Now it's time to get going with planting. So um, make sure everything's right, good to go. Soil conditions are a little, a little good, but I mean, I'll we'll figure it out. They're a little, it's a little too moist still. Yeah, but I mean, by tomorrow morning, by the more afternoon, they should be okay. So going pretty nicely out of the disc here so as you see here it's flowing pretty good so so just like for everything else the prep work actually takes a little longer than the actual um, part of doing it so I mean soil prep work is a I mean it's a big deal because if you don't get the soil conditions right for the plastic mulch layer I mean, I, I experienced that myself, and it was just a pain. I mean, it, it costed us yield, and then it was just hard to manage everything whenever you got plastic flapping over everywhere. So, you know, I told myself I'd rather spend another day working on the soil conditions, making sure they are ready to go, than uh, you know trying to uh, trying to push it and try to get these strawberries planted, and then you know you get a 20 an hour mile, 20 mile an hour windstorm, and then it kind of wipes out most of your your plastic there, and then it's a pain. You got all this money invested inside the plants and I mean, your first of all, your time, you know, the, the, you know, a few days you take, you know, spending getting the soil ready, plus your um, cost of uh, your input cost of the strawberry plants and everything else. You know, it's just, you know, another day here of getting the soil ready is not going to hurt us long term. So hopefully the plants will be here tomorrow or the day after that. By the end of the week, if uh, plants not in, you know, it kind of crunches our time 
and you know to plant but we still got what 10 days until the uh plants you know until that deadline comes so we're we're still on a good track here but whenever you think about it 33,000 plants i'm kind of getting worried about it kind of stressing out just a little bit but soil prep for the strawberries is pretty much complete like i said tomorrow hopefully we'll get the um transplanter out here or you can tell i'm tired i'm, I'm talking nonsense here we'll get the uh <laughs> We're gonna get the uh, plastic mulch layer, get that going. Hopefully by tomorrow afternoon, we'll have all the plastic mulch laid. And once soil, soil conditions are great, you, it lays really easy. But once once it takes a while, you know, you gotta get adjust everything. So anyways, yeah, tired. It's getting dark. You know what that means? Time to go to bed. So this is gonna be pretty much it for today. I know it's a little, it's a choppy video, but Whenever we're out here working, you're sitting three to four hours on the uh, tractor, you know, you film, you get excited about filming there at the beginning. And then by the time you get done, you're just tired and exhausted. But this is going to be pretty much it for today. Soil prep for the strawberries is complete. We got the well done. So that's all good news. Everything's running smooth. So if you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and smash the like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day. We'll see you next time.